what's up youtube what's up extreme gains family i'm chuck this is extreme gains i am not a financial advisor nothing i say is or ever will be financial advice please do not take it as such today is wednesday july 20th 2022 and this is my amc gme and spy algo exposed daily update and preparation video for tomorrow and beyond as always i hope y'all had a great day in the market today i know a shit ton of you did today that were in the live stream we'll get to that in a minute i hope y'all that weren't here were able to take advantage of this crazy volatility once again that's in these unprecedented times in my opinion and i hope you were able to make some extreme gains for yourselves i'm gonna go over all my regulars my snake elgo method for all three tickers and some macro comparatives so with that said let's dig in what an unbelievable day today everybody got to eat if you were not in this live stream i know i said it last week trust me today blew last week's live stream out of the water today was something that i don't know that i've ever been a part of it was an absolutely unbelievable day gains were out of control everyone was making money today on the live stream it was nuts go back watch the replay it was unbelievable all right uh my gains i absolutely knocked it out of the park today as well again i increased my portfolio around 42 percent today i did it in the first 10 minutes i think it was eight minutes actually somebody timed me uh the first 10 minutes of the day i was in and out and then got to work here on my snake algo method for the intraday movements uh, and just an out of the park day the scalp setups today the seven tickers that i set up every single day were off the charts as well there were seven entries and here are all seven rois from those entries 240 percent 170 percent 190 percent 300 percent 130 percent 80 percent 80 percent and 550 percent i'm telling you all what this is unreal listen y'all listen to me today was special for those of you that were here today do me a favor show up in the comments of this video show up in the comments of this video let everybody know what today was for you i just went through some emails before i started this video literally multiple people chuck this is the first time i've ever come across you i sat in on the live stream today i have lost a shit ton of money recently following other people's trading methods i increased my portfolio 50 percent 80 percent 100 percent 300 percent today hanging out in the live stream with you and the extreme gains family what happened today i swear to you i don't think's ever happened here on any of the live streams not as widespread as what today was so do me that favor y'all show up in the comments to those of you that did not get to be here today you all know how i am i really do hope y'all if you traded were able to take advantage of some of the craziness in this nutty market that we're in right now and i hope you were able to make some extreme gains for yourselves all right moving on briefly through the charts here amc finished the day today up 7.09 percent currently down 0.46 percent in after hours trading at 1745 the current intraweek snake that was on here last night in its extended position encompassed yesterday's movements was in this position it's very obvious we did not fulfill this to the downside like it was projecting however it is an exact replica mirroring to the upside candle for candle all of today so if price action were to continue to fulfill it in the mirrored position there's the projection moving forward into tomorrow and beyond now i talked to you last night as well about the two separate scenarios of the previous snake and this upcoming 
intra-week snake whether it's this one that's been projecting and fulfilling uh four days now and then obviously today in the mirrored position or if i needed to clip yesterday and today as new day of and day prior to snakes so i clipped both of them last night i showed you this one this was yesterday's uh clip put on here and in the position that i thought the only position it could go in was here last night and you can see it fulfilled its projection candle for candle today to the upside and you can see moving forward into tomorrow and beyond what the projection is from it and then i clicked today here just five minutes ago in the straight up position this is the clip it looks to me like it can only go in one place and that would be about right here and then obviously it's going to be very easy to tell which one is which according to these moving forward and then i looked at this potentially in the mirrored position because of the macro comparatives for amc and it looks like the only place to potentially put this is here and it as well gave a candle for candle fulfillment of the projection in that position today with its overlap so you can see what it would be moving forward into tomorrow and beyond from that so there's a lot of variables on the table right now from the intraweek snake perspective because of the holidays that i had talked about that throws the sequencing and the interchanging of these off and how it is that i have created and performed and used this to my advantage for a lot of time here on this channel those of you that have been with me for any period of time know this i don't have to explain this to you uh but for somebody that's new that may May not understand this um i have created this method it is something that has been a fluid ever changing ever learning thing for me but one thing that has remained uh consistent is anytime we've had holidays on a monday it has thrown off the scheduling and the interchanging of these intraweek snakes and obviously that means it throws off the fulfillment of them and the placement of them so right now is like one of the only times that there's been two different full scenarios on here meaning i could be be potentially looking at four different snakes right now moving into tomorrow specifically i think i think i should have a pretty good bead on it after tomorrow's trading because a lot of these have a definitive direction move tomorrow so that's what i'm looking at just for a quick brief uh synopsis of why it's like that it's not typically like this trust me this is typically pretty locked in and fluid uh as a methodology that i've created to stay up with this and stay uh what i what i deem as pretty accurate so uh that's the intraweek snake for amc and what it is that i'm looking at going into tomorrow the macro comparative for amc as you are aware of i have been using the previous double bottom right next door here in two different ways both the flipped which is the blue that's on there and the straight up which is the red right here and it had mirrored two weeks ago you are all aware of this here's the flipped position and you can see an absolute perfect projection and fulfillment here today obviously i would like to see a continuation to upside fulfillment like this is showing but it did fulfill its projection today and you can see moving forward into tomorrow and beyond what the continued projection is from it if price action were to continue to fulfill it then we have the straight up position of the same macro comparative right next door there that got mirrored a little over two weeks ago and you can see its projection and fulfillment in the mirrored position throughout and most recently right here and what it appears to me to be is projection fulfillment a mirrored fulfillment back into the upper right inside corner and then obviously this would require and project downside rejection off of that third pool uh and then a continuation to downside in this stepping manner so obviously a very definitive difference between the two macro comparatives currently what i am looking at moving into tomorrow and beyond for amc up next is gme excuse me gme finished the day today up 4.65%, currently down 0.74% in after hours, trading at 157.58. The current intraweek snake that I have been tracking is what is on your screen currently right here you can see once again today the projection fulfilled itself literally almost candle for candle and you can see moving into tomorrow and beyond what the projection is from it if price action were to continue to fulfill it 
there's an alternative to this i remember there was a day of and day prior to this long ago uh my snake disappeared on my screen today so i went looking for it and in the process i did clip the day prior to uh back when it diverted uh, back here. And I wanted to show you this because I looked at it and it is still valid. So right there is the day prior to as well. Very similar to this, but a little bit different in the upcoming movement. And it does appear to be a little bit longer than this one because it's extended a little more to encompass all of the fulfillment that it has already given. So I am looking at that as well. Very similar, but a little nuanced. Then the macro comparative for GME like amc is from the previous double bottom right here i've used it in both the straight up and the mirrored position most recently excuse me in the mirrored position and i had it right here last night and you can see we diverted to the upside here and did not start that downside from here as an alternate placement i had looked at this a little extended like this which makes sense as well and obviously it's basically the exact same thing with just another leg up here and if that were the leg up there and that were to be valid you can see what the projection is moving forward into tomorrow and beyond from the macro comparative right now with gme i am if i can get some time to dig into some charts going to be uh seeking out a potential new macro comparative as this one is starting to put itself in a position that it may either divert from or expire with this heavy downside move that's if that does not fulfill itself either to the downside heavy or if it mirrors and fulfills that way to the upside here uh coming up shortly so that's everything i'm looking at with gme last but not least is spy spy finished today today up 0.64 percent currently down 0.19 percent in after hours trading at 394.01 the current or previous intro week snake one of them the day prior to divergence is this one right here we talked about this in last night's video the projection today for this would have been to fulfill this downside and i said that if price action continued upside today it would be considered a possible diversion from this intraweek snake therefore i would need to clip a day of and a day prior to divergence for this if this were the one for a potential upcoming intraweek snake so i have done that so if this was the one then the new clips are yesterday's and today's price action here is yesterday's the day prior to divergence the only way i can see to put this right now is a one day overlap over today right there is the overlap and you can see the candle for candle fulfillment and you can see what the projection is from it moving forward into tomorrow and beyond if price action were to continue to fulfill it i do want to point out that we broke the macro double double neckline here as well as we broke the macro descending resistance and we are starting to pull back on that for a retest of it and that is exactly what this new potential intraweek snake shows as a matter of fact it shows what appears to be two check down uh confirmations before a continuation move to the upside on top of that macro descending resistance line so that is day prior to divergence with this intraweek snake the day of divergence is today's clip and here is today's clip likewise i can only see one potential position for this overlapping it all of today i guess i could overlap this one too depending upon what fulfillment we get here but nonetheless just to give you a generalized perspective of this macro movement i will adjust the granularity of this once i get a little more data in the form of price action but there you go that would be the day of divergence obviously that's showing the complete opposite that's showing a rejection and a move back into and a breach back down into this descending channel that we have been in for quite some time and a fail of a retest on that macro descending resistance so that is what i'm looking at regarding the day prior to divergence the previous divergence interweek snake 
its expiration and fulfillment with the diversion to the upside today and the potential for the new intraweek snakes day of divergence day prior to divergence from this one then the other one was the day of divergence from the last divergence and here is that snake and in its position right there the move to the upside i talked last night about this having room to consolidate out across here before heading back downside and i did say that i would give this a little bit of wiggle room if it were to continue upside today like i thought and anticipated price action doing so i am going to leave this on the radar for now obviously if we go hard back downside and we converge back with this it's still going to be valid and i will still use it but that is everything that i am looking for and looking at with the current intraweek snakes and potentially an upcoming intraweek snakes for spy moving into tomorrow and beyond the macro comparative is from the 0809 correction and crash and this is in the long term version of this that i have went over and over and over and over for a long time on this channel the position of this going into today was right here and I talked about this very similarly to the day of divergence that we just went over in that it showed consolidation out across here, potentially a short-term breach to the upside of this, and then a continuation, a breach back into the descending channel, and then a continuation to downside fulfillment of the macro comparative and that is what happened today obviously i'm giving it the same wiggle room as i did the previous snake that i just showed you and i will give that to it obviously i want to see this either consolidate out across or breach back down into the descending channel and then a continuation to downside fulfillment of this in some way moving forward anything as a continuation to upside from this point on to a certain extent will have to be deemed a diversion from this and an invalidation of the placement of the macro comparative in this long-term position and that is everything that i am looking at with amc gme and spy for today going into tomorrow and beyond if you made it to the end of the video thank you very much i appreciate it greatly sorry about my rambling at the beginning i tried to calm myself down it was an unbelievable day it truly truly was uh super blown back by today and by everybody and the extreme gains that were made today i will get an update and prep video out tomorrow night after market close just like this one, like I always do. Enjoy the rest of your night tonight. Make some extreme gains in the market tomorrow. Show up in the comments. I want to hear from everybody that was here today. Let everybody know. I think it's time we get loud about what's going on. One day a week out here is blowing people's tops off right now. And the way everybody traded today, y'all blew my top off. Congratulations to everybody once again. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow night on the next one. Later.